There's the light. Alright, so I'm done waiting on this dude to send me the tune. I'll just go ahead and pull his trans off today. No procrastinating and waiting on him ain't gonna really do me no good because this crap gotta come off and be sealed anyways. And by the time he sent the tune or the base map, I'ma probably be done, you know, swapping this crap already anyway. So I might as well just go ahead and um well, not swapping it, but, you know, taking it off and putting it back on. So, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Um, I don't have to take the half shaft off on the driver's side, but I'm taking it off because I want to um, fix the uh, leak on the oil pan, too. So, I'm doing that as well. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to pull this trans off and um, sell it. Try to throw it back on. Probably not today. Try to throw it back on soon though. I might. I don't know. We'll see. So it shouldn't take long. All I have to do is um <clears throat> take off all the um. Actually, you know what? I think with this harness is is almost all the way out the way. So I might not have to um unplug all of this. I used to unplug all of that before. I don't even know if y'all can see this because it's so dark. I used to unplug all of these wires right here. That's kind of in a way, but I probably don't have to. I'm going to just have to take off like these grounds and the, um, that thing on the starter that goes to that. And, um, you know, the speed sensor. Then that's probably it. And then, you know, the slave cylinder. These this mount right here and then I have to disconnect it from the T-bracket and pull this axle all the way out I don't have to pull the axle all the way out but like I said I am um, yeah and then that's it then I can just unbolt the trans from the motor and it'll fall out so yeah shouldn't take that long probably I don't know what the B-series I was able to do in like 40 minutes once before probably even quicker than that probably like 30 minutes but, um, actually, yeah, probably less than 30 minutes now that I'm thinking about it. I pulled it out really fast one time. I had just put it in, matter of fact, once to start the car, and it was acting like it was in gear when it was in neutral. That was, like, when I first bought this transmission and took it apart and put it back in. After I changed the reverse gear, I put it back in, went to start the car, and it was in neutral, and it just took off like it was in first gear and I was so pissed I immediately just started taking it off <laughs> immediately started pulling the trans and it was out of the car in like 25 20 to 25 minutes <laughs> so yeah um, it shouldn't take me that long to pull it let's go ahead and get to it alright so I basically got um, got the axles out and <clears throat> what else? Oh, disconnected the shift linkage. I don't know why it's been acting like this lady. There you go. Disconnected the shift linkage and that crap's still oil all on that thing. Luckily I had that there. But um all of this is done, so the trans is ready to come out now. And then um Yeah, that's it. I'm just go ahead and um get it out i had to take a break and get some food so it's been a while it's been like probably like an hour and a half but uh and i don't know why I'm <laughs> why i'm struggling yeah so go ahead and uh get this thing pulled out and then oh yeah um what's this called the freaking drain plug hole stripped and that could possibly be why it was leaking this whole time because um when i was taking the the boat out the drain plug boat out it was like what's this called <clears throat> it was like real hard to take out 
so I'm assuming maybe it was it, it went in there cross threaded when I put it on but uh, I really can't remember if that happened or not but yeah that could be the reason why it was leaking or it could have just been because it wasn't sealed good like I'm expecting which I really think it was because it wasn't sealed good I don't think it was because of that but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and see what's going on all right y'all so I had to actually take the header off to get to these two bolts down here so I took the header off and impacted those two off that KS2 oil pan though I don't think I ever showed this actually I think I have because I'm pretty sure I showed y'all smearing all that crap back there you can't see nothing uh, <laughs> yeah, so I got the header off I got those two bolts off all of those ones for the uh let me see I don't, I don't even think you can see right now. I took off the ones for the um, T bracket. Now I just have to take off the uh, clutch slave cylinder and then take off the um, the, all the bolts on the other side and then that'll be it. It'll fall off. Obviously, I think I'm just like dropping on the floor. I might um, <laughs> put a jack under it, lower it down, or whatnot. I think I'm gonna leave the car on the jack stands. Normally I would lower the car and just like let it sit on the floor, but um, a couple of times I have, you know, lowered it down with the jack and I think I'm gonna do that again this time around. All right, so I got to start it off. That was a, a pain, man. Um, man, that's the main thing. I'm not excited to freaking try to put this trans back on with the way this. <laughs> the way you have to put the starter thing on and i'm gonna show y'all if y'all never seen like the qsd kit i'm gonna show y'all what i mean by uh there's like a nut on the other side of this you might be able to see it. but after i get this off i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i mean all right so i actually got all the bolts out right now and it's just it's resting on the jack just barely crap about to fall off <laughs> But um, what I'm gonna do is, well, this this is kind of bothering me here. But um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna lower it very slowly, and I'm gonna just hold on to the jack. And when it gets you know low enough, then I'm gonna just pull it from out, pull it from under there. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, just go ahead and do that, and then I will update y'all on how that went. <laughs> Alright, so that part was actually way easier than I thought. I just started lowering it slowly, and then I just pulled back on the uh, trans, and it just popped right out. <laughs> Show me all the flywheel and whatnot. Um... Um, I don't know. I don't know. The, oh, this is what I'm talking about here. And you see, it's kind of not perfectly flat. It has to be like perfectly flat in there. So this whole time it was slightly out like that. But all the bolts were so tight on the transmission that it was it was keeping it together that uh you know that didn't give me any issues but i don't know i think probably if i would have started driving the car and like launching it and beating on it and whatnot it probably would have started to give me issues after a while but um i think now that i got this off i'm gonna hit up my uh brother's homeboy and try to get a lightweight flywheel from him so i can throw a lightweight flywheel on here and not have to use this one that'll make a difference as well that'll be a lot better i think it has to be resurfaced but it's all good um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this from out of here and crack it open and whatnot all right so i just wanted to show y'all this real quick check out these wireless headphones no i'm sure no <laughs> look at how much freaking shavings is on this thing that's a thick 
layer. Let me see. Get that. So that's pretty bad. Um, I don't even know. I definitely need a rebuild, but I don't have money for that right now. So that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> Whenever I get the money, I'll rebuild this trans though for sure. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that real quick because it looked real bad. Alright, so. I don't even think I made any videos yesterday of when I, um, I cracked it open and put it back together. <clears throat> it took me like three different times to get the freaking, uh, get the, um, it's like a clip in there. And the transmission that you got to get onto this bearing that's right at the top. It took me like three times taking apart the casing and cleaning it and putting RTV on it, dude. That crap was so annoying. But, um, yeah, I don't think I made any videos because I already knew that that was going to be hard or whatever. So, um, that's already done. And I might try to put this on right now by myself, but I don't know because I already know it's stupid hard. And um, I only have this one jack, so I don't have a jack to stick this onto and then jack it up there or none of that. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna try that or not. Alright, so I actually found this jack, but <clears throat> as you can see, it ain't even really holding the motor up. And I don't really want it like that because this is super sketch. Especially this right here. Like it's on my frame, pretty sure it is. <clears throat> but um, let me see. And see, this is already pretty close. So, I had it on a jack, of course. If I just, um, you know, get it on real quick, it shouldn't be a problem. But we're gonna see. Plus, you know, the jack should be keeping it from doing anything because you know keeping it from from leaning any more this way because obviously that's what jack does <laughs> supports the weight so yeah so as you can see i got it jacked up and it's already basically like matter of fact i think i got it a little too high cause right there it's like well, but it needs to be rotated just a little bit so that needs to be right there obviously So I'm probably going to have to lower it a little bit, actually. And try to get it on here. But this crap is heavy, dude. <clears throat> it's hard to do by yourself, especially when a little nigga like me. <laughs> I ain't that freaking buff to be just picking up no big old heavy transmission. I think these transmissions weigh like 70 pounds or something like that. And that's more than half my body weight, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man. Um, but yeah, it's stupid close to where I need it to be. It's just real hard to do this by yourself. That's all. But see, like, this bolt hole here needs to be over there. So it needs to be rotated. Same thing here. This bolt hole needs to be right there. Right there. So yeah. Um a little bit too high. I'm gonna lower it down so I'm gonna try to get it on. Even though I've got it like stupid close, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this simply because um, it's just too hard to hold it in place and then be able to bolt it on. So, I don't know. Scrap this hard. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I got it all back together only thing I need to do is pour another quart of oil in there right now I'll just put cheap conventional 10w40 in there to make sure it ain't got no leaks um, that's actually what I had in there before but yeah I put some of that in there I normally use the um, the Honda uh, transmission fluid the manual transmission fluid but um, I actually had that conventional in here last time I did my 
my transmission because I wanted to see if it was going to leak and it turned out it did. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I need to pour another quart of oil in there. And then, um, oh yeah, connect my, connect the ground and then the battery and all that. And that should be it. Um, after that, it'll be ready to start, but I, um, I ended up putting more RTV on there. I know, I know, you ain't even gotta tell me, hold on. Put more RTV down there. Yes, I know. Should have took it off and redid the whole thing, but I didn't. But I was able to see the spot where it was leaking from, so I covered that up. Oh, uh, <laughs> what's this called? Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm just um, probably about to go put another quart of oil into the trans, and then I'm probably not gonna touch it. Well, I'm going to connect that, that too. But then I'm probably not going to touch it for the rest of the day. I'm probably just going to let it sit, let that dry, and then come out here and check it out tomorrow or something because I'm going to be pissed if I uh, go to start it and it start leaking from that same spot back there because I didn't let it dry. So, um, yeah, now I guess I'm going to just wait until tomorrow. We'll let y'all see what happened. By the way, I am filming on a new setting. This is 4K 60 frames per second, and I am using my phone. Um, let me know how this looks. If it looks good, good for y'all, then I'll keep doing it like this. Only problem is it takes up a lot more memory, and it takes longer for, for it to uh, export when I'm editing. But, you know, it is what it is. Also, I forgot to mention, um, once before, I took my trans apart and put it back together, put it back in the car. Went and started the car, and the crap acted like it was in gear when it was in neutral, and I was super pissed. But, the car's in neutral right now, and this spins freely, so I know it's not acting like it's in gear. So that should be just fine. That shouldn't happen again. <laughs> But yeah, I was pretty pissed last time that happened to me. I don't know why this is making that noise. Something in there is grinding. Uh oh, didn't spring freely backwards. You know how pissed I'm gonna be if I'm having that same issue? <laughs> I rode through all the gears, let me see. My shifter actually feels a little bit better now too because I tightened it. But um, yeah. <laughs> feels good. And I can't remember if I was able to do all this last time, but I am now, so um yeah. I don't think it's gonna be a problem though. I'm just being stupid. So I actually started the car yesterday. But all I did was back it up off the brick. That brick there. All I did was back it up off the brick and then um, uh, moved the brick out the way and then moved it back forward. So the trans was fine. It didn't, you know, trip out or nothing like that. Um, I haven't check if the engine is leaking yet so I guess I can check that now So I'm gonna just go ahead, start the car, let it run for a bit, and see if it leaks any oil from the engine. 
And um, I don't see anything on the train side either. Let me check. <clears throat> Can't even see under there right now. But um oh I'm off to this like over here. Uh I think all of that right there is dry. Um yeah, I don't see like no actually no I do see like a drop right there. A drop or two. But um I'm gonna go ahead and check now. Alright. Drop was what I was talking about. I think it was here, that there. I don't see anything on it. this side. I forgot this was under there. Could have ran that over. I'm not gonna really know. I guess I'll leave it running for a while and do this a couple of days, but it looks like it's good right now so far. So that's good. But um uh, even if it is leak if it is it's obviously not bad at all. I think it'll be fine to go on a dyno now. It don't sound too good while I'm standing right here. Honestly. Sound kinda of funny. But um I did check the engine oil and it was fine. No the trans has enough oil in it. So yeah, I don't know why it sounds like that. Maybe it needs a valve lash, I don't know. But yeah. Seems like it's straight now. So I went ahead and drove it around the block just now. I swear I heard something fall off the car. <laughs> I swear I heard something fall. I could have had something up here. I don't think I did. Though. But um, it didn't fall apart. So. Uh, uh, maybe I had something here. I'm not sure. Um, the car was up to temperature already, so it it was. Um, I don't know. The car felt pretty good, honestly. It didn't feel like it was having any type of issues. No stutters, no hiccups. I didn't rev it out. Didn't try to crack VTEC or nothing. So probably gonna still do that that thing that it did before. 
where if I try to crack VTEC, it just kind of bogs or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, bro, I swear I heard it sounded like something fell off the car. It sounded like it could have been on the exhaust, so I'll check the exhaust. Let's check right now, actually. So I can check it later. But... Uh, I can't tell. Can't see nothing. Um, I still see that top bolt on. I'm pretty sure that one on the other side is on there too. But I don't see this leaking no more. Oil pan, it might be. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, yeah, it is leaking. You see that right there? It's leaking really slowly. But I think I can fix that still. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can fix that. Plus, that's. That's a pretty slow leak. That's not bad at all. So yeah.